In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create high contrast and low contrast black and white photos in Adobe Photoshop. First, we need to know what high and low contrast black and white photos are. In simple terms, high contrast black and white photos have extreme blacks and extreme whites, and the low contrast or the matte look is the opposite. There won't be any extreme dark or white areas. The dark and the white areas will be faded. Let's do an example. It will make things clear. First, we're gonna do the high contrast. In Photoshop, we can create a black and white photo in so many ways. We can use the black and white adjustment layer, gradient map, hue saturation, or you can even use the calculations. But in this tutorial, we'll be using the camera filter. If you're a Lightroom user, you can follow the same steps. Let's first make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl Command and J. I'll make it a smart object so that if needed, we can adjust any effects later. Now go to Filter, Camera Filter. Here you can click the black and white button to make it a black and white photo. But before you do that, let me show you something interesting. There are some presets in camera or filter. If you click the presets icon, then you will find these black and white presets. Also at the bottom, you can find these high contrast and low contrast presets. But in this tutorial, we're gonna do it manually because I want to have full control over it. Let's go back to edit. Here you can click the black and white button or you can expand color and reduce the saturation. Now expand light. For a high contrast black and white photo, we need to have extreme black and extreme white. But it doesn't mean something this extreme. We must have a balance where we have very bright and dark areas but still it looks good and we don't lose so much of the details that we cannot even recognize the photo. This is art, there is no right or wrong unless you ruin the photo. Anyway, I'll increase the exposure. Normally I would increase the contrast but here in this case increasing it doesn't make any better. I may change it after changing these other sliders. Every photo is different so we need to tackle every photo differently. If you know the concept then you can get a good result. I'll increase the highlights and decrease the shadows a bit. I'll just play with the sliders and see what looks best for this photo. Next I will expand the effects. Here I will increase the texture and the clarity. This will enhance the contrast. See the before and after. Also if you want, you can add some grain. In curve, we can make a S curve to add more contrast. It will make the dark darker and the bright brighter. Once you are done, then hit OK. After camera raw filter, we can enhance it even more. We can do some dodging and burning. Let's add a curves adjustment layer and drag it down to make it darker. This is for burning. Obviously, we don't want it all over the photo. Press Ctrl Command and I to invert the mask. Now everything is hidden for the curve adjustment layer. Now select the brush tool. Set the flow around 10% and select foreground color white. We know in mask, black hides and white shows. Paint with white in some dark areas to make them darker like the neck areas. And also maybe in the chin. Let's create one more curves adjustment layer and this time drag it up. This is for dodging. Like before, invert the mask and paint with white to make some of the bright areas even brighter. Now double click on the curve adjustment layer. I will remove some of the highlights from the dark areas. From the underlying slider, move the left slider to the right. Also hold alt or option and click the slider to break it. It will make the transition smoother. Now if I pick the color picker then you can see that dark areas are almost black and the white areas are very bright. So this was the example of high contrast photo. I can make it even more contrasty but for this photo it looks great now. Now let's do the low contrast or matte look. You can again go to the camera filter and change the sliders but there is an easier way. In low contrast photo there won't be extreme dark or white areas. So we can add that effect on the top of all these layers. Create a levels adjustment layer. I will move the right slider to the left. This means the brightest areas will have these shades of brightness. The brightest area cannot be brighter of this shade. Similarly for the dark areas. Move the left slider to the right. Now the darkest areas will have this shade of darkness. You can also change the mid-tone slider if you want. Now let's see the difference between the high and low contrast black and white photos. This is the high contrast and this is the low contrast. We cannot say one is better than the other. Which one you choose is totally up to you. I also wanna show you this. If you don't create the high contrast first, 
then you need to create a black and white adjustment layer and these levels. For example, let's turn off these layers. Create a black and white adjustment layer and then create a levels adjustment layer. We already have it here. But to me in this photo, adding a matte look on the top of high contrast gives a better result. It might be different for other photos. So this is how you can create high and low contrast black and white photos in Adobe Photoshop. Hope you like this tutorial and learned something new from it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thank you for watching. Oh